Not only is it important for you as a teacher to understand how your GEC operates, but also how it is connected and what is connected to it. First, let's examine the rear panel of the GEC, and then we will look at both the front and rear views of the student interface boxes. Flipping the unit around and beginning on the far left, we see the power switch, which toggles the unit on and off and the AC power socket, where the power cord connects. Below the power switch, you will see a MIDI in port and a MIDI out port. MIDI in is used to connect external devices capable of transmitting MIDI data, such as teacher's keyboards, to the GEC. MIDI out is used for connecting external devices that can receive MIDI data, such as student keyboards, from the GEC. The next port to the left is the USB port. This port is used to connect your GEC to a Macintosh or Windows computer. To the left of the USB port is the SPDIF input. This input is utilized if you wish to transmit digital audio to an external recording device such as a CDR machine. Moving to the right, you will notice a series of eighth inch stereo connectors. The instrument in left and right ports are used to connect to the output of your keyboard or synthesizer. The most common cable used for this type of connection is a dual quarter inch cable to a dual RCA cable. To the left, the next set of connectors are the aux in left and right connectors. These are used to connect the output of some auxiliary device, such as a CD player, to the input of the GEC. The aux in two left and right inputs, which are the connections to the left of the aux one, are used in the same fashion. Tape out left and right is used to route the audio that is coming into the GEC to some outside device, such as a mixing console or a tape deck for recording. Similarly, room out left and right is used to connect the GEC to external monitor speakers. And finally, you will see the RJ45 connectors. Each one of these ports connects to a student interface box via a Cat5 Ethernet cable. Now, let's examine the connections of the student interface units. If we look at the front side of the unit beginning with the left, the first button is the call button. This is the button that students can press to alert you if they need assistance or if they want to virtually raise their hand. Next and to the right you will notice the inputs for headset 1 and headset 2. In between the inputs is the split toggle which can split a configured keyboard into two separate instruments. Finally, the volume controls are located on the far right of the unit's front side. Flipping the unit around, you will first notice stereo 8th inch inputs. These are used to route the output of each student's keyboard into their headphones. Similar to the teacher station, the most common type of cable used for this type of connection is a dual quarter inch to dual RCA cable. Another similarity between the GEC and SI unit is the AUX1 left and right inputs. Here an auxiliary source can be connected directly to the student station and will be routed directly to their headphones. Next and to the right is an eighth inch AUX2 input. This connector is most commonly used to route computer audio to each student station. A normal cable used to do this is an eighth inch to eighth inch cable. And the cable looks like this. Mic out is used in a similar fashion as the aux 2 in and can be used to connect microphones to the SI box. Finally, the RJ45 plug is used to connect each SI box to the GEC via a Cat5 Ethernet cable. 